Welcome back, Pat Streaker6 here. Today I'm going to be doing a test to see just how much damage each one of the attack helicopters that we have available to us can actually take. Um, because it is my belief that the Apache and the Black Shark uh, both are way too weak in comparison to what they should be and if anything the hind is too strong even though it is a game and i do believe that all three of the helicopters should the three heli attack helicopters the apache the the black shark and the hind should be right around the same for damage model in all reality i do believe from reading the black shark and the apache should actually be a little tougher than the hind um which is definitely not the case the black shark and the apache in my opinion a six-year-old with a spitball gun can take them down whereas you know it almost takes a tank round to the face on an apache to uh or on a hind i mean sorry to uh take that down so what we're going to be doing here is i know my head tracker isn't working um i should have restarted just to get that working or went into vr but what i'm gonna end up doing is after each run there will also be uh i'll i'll do a replay from the uh from the track and we'll just set it up so that it's like an f3 view coming straight from the uh the ground units over here and let's get started with it we'll start with the huey and we'll use that as our first uh guinea pig on this so let's get to it i'm gonna try and keep the uh each each aircraft at between 50 and 70 knots and between 50 and 80 uh feet off the ground somewhere in there approximately to try and give it somewhat of a uh good um st uh static uh yeah you know what i mean words losing words You can add that word in for me in the comments. Okay, so here we are. We are doing 60 knots, lowering down. We're down to about, come on, get her lower. Get her right around in here, 70 ish, 80 ish freaking feet. And I'm going to try and fly as stable as I can right at them. Uh, as we all know, a person kind of wants to start evading. Uh, just because it's, you know, human nature. And how fast am I going? Oh, they shot my uh, stuff out, which is pretty typical in the uh, Huey. And let's see... What kind of damage can I take as I go over top here? Oh, lost my rotor. Or my tail, I mean. There we go. All right, that right there, my friends, is the Huey. Let's do a replay on it now from this view right here. All right, we'll try and do the same view each time now that we are uh, set up here. And I will take it off pause. Here we go. Um, this is where I'll put the timer, and it'll give us kind of a rough estimate of how long it takes for time to kill. And here comes the Huey. From my other testing, the hind, I'll be able to just fly back and forth until they run out of ammo and still be flying. This is kind of what you would expect with a Huey with just a light cargo helicopter like this, utility helicopter. And I have, by the way, I have all the uh, 
ground units on average for uh, skill level. Forgot to mention that. Let's see, we're about ready to lose our tail rotor here shortly, or our tail boom completely, I should say. Up, oh, light on fire. I guess the replays aren't exact yet, but they're pretty close. A lot closer. That's pretty. And we will fly that. And I apologize for my flying because. I'm not in VR or anything right now, and I'm just not used to this without head tracking and stuff. And even if I had my head tracker working, I'd probably be flying a little bit better. But, hey, okay, let's get her up to 60-ish frickin' knots. Get it stabilized. Around 70-ish feet, I hope. 60-ish knots, 60 to 70 knots. Quit climbing. Quit climbing, keep flying. And here we are at like a hundred feet, but that'll probably work too. I'm gonna be probably, I'll be bouncing around this area the whole time, so. And now I'm at 50. I need to speed up. Engine one out. Oh. Engine one out. I think I just took some Engine damage one there. Out. Engine one out. Engine one out. And Engine one out. Why am I at 140 Engine feet? One out. See I'm too high now. Engine one out. Okay. Engine one out. Normally I will get taken Engine down on my Engine first pass out. like this. this is the first time Engine I've actually out. made it past them. Engine one out. But Engine one without out. getting taken out. Oh Engine one out. there we go. And taken out. For whatever Light reason, game's low. locking up. Engine one out. Engine one out. And down. Engine one out. Okay, so we are back at close to the same uh, spot we were at for the external replay. Probably a little off to the right this time, but that'll work just fine. And here it goes. Pause is off now. And we should be taking fire here pretty quick like and we'll kind of see what is going on I should have guessed I guess I should have been more from a side view and by but that's okay and here we are taking fire once more ground troops are on average for our test and she seems to be taking a lot of damage for once um, that was actually the best run that I've had out of the three or four times that I've ran this test. Normally I'm dead about the same as the Huey, like right at the flyover. And done. Black Shark should be fairly similar to the Apache. Uh, I think it might have a little more toughness because it doesn't have a tail rotor to take out. Um, but its engines typically get taken out rather quickly. 
So let's uh, see what we can do about getting this up to speed and keep it at a decent altitude. Get her up to about 100 and 120 to 150 uh, kilometers an hour. And try and keep it within our somewhat variables. I'm not I'm not a huge, super huge great tester here or anything as you can tell. Your average Joe pilot flying along, testing out things that I think that are just a little bit too far far off in comparison. Go. Better keep Watch her at, at least 150 at a map. Oh. Watch a run. Not sure what they took out there, but they took something out. And down. All right, here we are, set up once more. So let's go with unpausing and see what it says. Let's see what the uh, culprit was that took us down. As you can see, it was about the same as the Apache. Um, so, so far, the Huey, the Apache, and the Black Shark are fairly close to the same, in my opinion. Um, now, once we get to the hind here, if it's been like every other time that I've tested it, I'll just run these guys out of ammunition. They'll not take out any any uh, systems that are essential to it to com to continue to fly. It might take off like the pylons or something, but that's about it. If it stays the same as what it's been the other two times, two or three times that I've tested it. I'm assuming they got a lucky shot in and got my rotor when I went by here. Oh, well, that shows it. Yeah, I guess lost my tail. And my rotor when I uh, lost my tail, apparently. Okay, so that would be that. All right, so here we are with the hind. Last but not least, it, with all my other testing, it was uh, definitely the longest lived one. I fly this the least, so bear with my crappy piloting skills in it. I know it's a lot like the hip, but... Um, and I fly the hip a lot, so I should not be that terrible in this thing, but... So here we are, get her up to about 120 to 150 knots, keep it around this altitude here. Hopefully I don't go whizzing past too fast. I know I have a bad habit of doing that in the hind because the hind is, just wants speed. See if I can keep her pretty stable and straight here. Um, Keeper. Keeper, 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 keeper going. Keep her at 150. And we'll fly over. And there we go. Taking rounds, taking rounds, taking rounds. Fly over. And here we are. Still flying just fine. And keep on flying. For a little bit longer to uh, get a little further out of their range and I will bring it back around and we will take another uh, pass at them bring it around I don't fly this enough so I did actually have one other take on this uh, where I ate crap 
uh, from pilot error right into the ground when I was coming around. So I'm flying kind of high here. That is why. I ate dirt last time. I don't want to have to retest this over and over and over again to get a fair uh, comparison. Here we are, flying over again. Fly over number two. And no critical systems damaged yet. We're still flying just fine. We'll just keep on a rolling. It's been like every other time I won't get shot down. I'll just keep flying over until they run out of ammunition. Hey, okay, let's give her some give her some juice here. Bring her back down and in. Ground fire. Water block. And keep her on that 150-ish knot, or kilometers an hour. Hostile ground fire ahead. And here we go again. Fly-by number three. Still flying. Still no critical critical damage. Still just flying just fine. Like nothing ever happened. Nobody ever shot at us. Like it's a six year old with a spitball shooting at us. And so I've done three passes and I think they're already out of ammunition. Oh, maybe not. Let's go even slower this time for our fourth pass. Give them, give them more to shoot at. See if they can actually take us down if I go super slow. And there we are. Fourth pass. Still flying. Come back for a fifth. Pretty sure they're almost out of ammunition, is what the problem is. Still nothing for critical damage. Now, mind you, like I said before, I do not think that the hind is overpowered or too powerful. This is the job it was built for, to do just this. I think that the Black Shark and the Apache are just very lamely put together where the damage model is concerned. I think uh, maybe you guys had a balance issue in your minds where you thought you didn't want to have them too overly powerful, but you certainly didn't have a problem with... Uh, you know, the, well, I should say ED, not you guys, um, was worried about a balance issue from people thinking that they're over, over OP. Um, well, the, in that line of thinking, then the hind is OP. I mean, everybody already says that anyway, but they're supposed to be tough like this. They're supposed to be tough. And this is a game, so in a game, you expect them to be able to take damage like this. Even if it doesn't really happen in real life, they do get taken down easier than what they are here. See, they're out of ammo. Um, so we'll just go for the replay. But once more, it's a game. Um, you know, make them, like I say, from everything I've read, uh, I'm definitely no expert, but they should be the hind and the black sh or the the black shark and the Apache should be on the same level as the hind at a bare minimum, if not 
stronger. So. And flying by. Nothing can take me down. I'm behind. You know? Um, which, like I say, for game purposes, and in real life, too, I'm guessing that they were actually this tough, but um, for game purposes and real life, the Apache and the uh, Black Shark should be on par with the uh, Hind and not on par with a Huey, which is what they certainly are at this point in the game. Because I know, I guess I should have threw a hip in there. I know a hip will take more damage than that, too. A hip takes more damage than a Huey. So, there's really a lot of work that needs to be done on the damage models for the Black Shark. And the Apache. The Apache has a little bit of an excuse because it is a newer module and they're still working out the balance. Um, but the Black Shark, that thing's been around, what, 8, 10 years? Regardless, you know, of its uh, amount of times that it's been updated, the damage model shouldn't get weaker and weaker each time. And I threw, blew, threw, the, blew the Black Shark 2 also, and that seemed to be about the same as what the damage model of the Black Shark 3 is. So there's, there's just no excuse to have <clears throat> one helicopter this tough in one attack helicopter <clears throat> this tough in comparison <coughs> excuse me to the other two attack helicopters uh, that are literally not any stronger than a Huey so kind of that so I mean you can go with the uh, oh they shot your tail rotor out well how many times should they have shot the uh, tail rotor off of this thing if you want to go with that argument <clears throat> and I know just from playing PvP and stuff I can shoot these things with a with two or three or four different rockets and they're still flying I can shoot them with, a, with two Mistral missiles, and they're still flying. Not every time with the Mistrals, but or the rockets, but there's a good chance that it's going to still be. It's going to take you know at least two, <clears throat> two rockets or two missiles to give it enough critical damage to take it down. So, what I'm saying is, I think the Black Shark and the Apache should have that same amount of damage available to it because I mean look and they're out of ammo so there is my get on the uh, damage models on the uh, attack helicopters uh, thanks for watching I know it's, I know it's kind of slow and dull but this is more so made for uh, Eagle Dynamics so that they could take a view at what I was talking about. And uh, appreciate all your time. And thanks for watching. Streaker 6 is out. Oh.